Hey everybody, <clears throat> this is Pastor Tim and I'm just doing a little walk today with you and uh, talk to you a little bit about God's love. You know, our God is an awesome God and He's a wonderful Savior. And we all know the passage of Scripture that most people quote and that's John 3, 16. For God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. But one of the things that we don't really consider is how much does he love us when we read that passage of scripture. Well, I want you to think about it. How much do you love your husband or your wife? How much do you love your children? That's the other question. How much do you love your mom or dad? And for some people, the question would be, how much do you love your animals? Because some people like them more than they like people. But the whole question is, is how much does God love me? Well, you know, if God loved the world so much that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believed in him wouldn't perish but have everlasting life. And then Jesus goes and tells us, he said, there's no greater love than if a, a person lay his life down for his friends. Now see, when Jesus climbed on that cross, he laid down his life for all of the friends, all of the people who call him Lord, and all the people who call him Savior. Because he is our Lord and our Savior. Now there's other passages of scriptures we can read that talks about the love of God and how much God loves us. So, you know, as, we, as I'm taking a walk today, it's a, it's a love walk, a prayer walk, if you will. But I'm gonna read to you something. Oh, I dropped my book. That just tells you right there, the devil don't want me reading this. But it is a passage in Isaiah. Let me get there and I'll read it to you. And it's about God's love. It's Isaiah chapter 62 and verse 5. And it says this, For a young man marrieth a virgin, so shall thy sons marry thee. And as the bridegroom rejoices over the bride, so shall thy God rejoice over thee. So, that lets me know that God rejoices over every person who comes to him. He loves every single one of us very, very much. See, our God is a God that's one, not short-handed. Two, wants everyone saved. None of this predestination stuff because he would have never climbed on the cross if you were already predestined to be uh, going somewhere else. So what I want to say, and a lot of it has to do with what we're talking about right now, is why does he love us? Hmm. Why does God love us? Well, it's because God is love. He is true love. He's not the definition that the world gives the word love, which most of that is eros from the Greek of erotica, and uh, where we get the word erotica from. And they take and pervert the word love to try to fit their lifestyle, which is not true love. It's lust, and it's a perversion of what God intended of one man and one woman coming together in marriage. But that's not the kind of love I'm talking about either. The kind of love I'm talking about is a God that gives us beautiful sunsets. You know, the kind of God who loves us so much that he would give us beautiful sunsets like you see right there. He gives us life. If you notice the trees are green, the grass is green. I'm breathing, you're breathing. He pours into us his spirit. He allows us to live. Even those who don't know him as savior, well, they don't know true love yet 
because only true love comes from the Father. And only true love comes from God. We can't make that up. We can't, in our human selves, actually love someone. Without God, there is no way to love someone. Without God, there's no way to have a heart for people. See, that's the true thing that God wants us to have. It's like he has a heart for us. It's for us to have a heart for people. And that means we born-again believers have a job to do. Once we become those new creatures in Christ, our job is to get other people saved. That's the true love that God's talking about. It's that true love that he gives that saves us. See, when his blood was shed and he climbed upon the cross, he said, it's finished. And he was talking about finishing sin and death and the grave. And he took all of that for us because he loves us. Now, you've got to ask yourself this question. How often would you give your life for someone? Better yet, how often would you give your life to share the gospel? Now, I'm not telling you to go to Tanzania. I'm not telling you to go to some foreign country unless God calls you to do that. I'm not telling you to go jump in front of bullets. But what I'm asking is, are you willing, no matter what, to share the gospel of Jesus Christ? If you're willing to share the gospel of Jesus Christ, no matter what, I think you're learning. You're learning how to truly love somebody. Because see, evangelism's love. You love them enough to tell them the truth. And the truth is that you can only be saved through Jesus Christ. That's the truth. And that's true love. Now, there's many, many people out there that will tell you there's many ways to heaven, but there's not. There's only one. And that is through Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. So, tonight, our short Bible lesson is that only true love comes from above. And only God can show you how to love somebody the correct way. And when Jesus, oh, praise the Lord, when Jesus went to the cross, he showed us true love. That's the kind of God we have. A God that will do anything, anything, to get us saved. Now see, when he gets us saved, he doesn't want us to stay the way we are. He wants us to change. He wants our lives to change. And when you truly love somebody, as Christ loves the church, and he died for the church, then, you know, he expects us to give us to give him our all. That's the kind of God we have. We have a God of truth. We have a God of expectation. We have a God that wants us, when we give our life to him, to completely change. Do 180. Stop living a life of sin. And that shows our love for him. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. See, so you know what we got to do? We've got to keep his commandments. And the only way to do that is through the grace of Jesus Christ. There's no possible human way you could keep the commandments at all. But if you love God and you try your very best to do what God wants you to do, I'm sure, I'm sure God will take that and God will run with it. God will take you and he will help you. So you know what? Right now is your time to talk to the Lord about what you need to do to be saved. Well, there's a short prayer. And I know I talk about this after every time we speak. But this is the thing. That's the only way you're going to truly have peace, joy, life abundantly, and know how to truly love 
is if you have Jesus Christ in your heart. If you say this short little prayer, and you mean it from your heart, earnestly mean this, then I believe you'll be saved. It's just God, I'm a sinner. I've lived a wrong life, I've got a past, but I know if I give my heart to you, you'll change my life, you'll change things for me. That you, God, are the one that's in control. And I ask you to forgive me of all of my sins. I'm asking you, Lord God, right now to come into my heart and forgive me of all my sins and change me to be that new creature in Christ. And when you do that, God rejoices over you just like a bridegroom rejoices over the bride. God rejoices over you. Now, if you'll just give God your whole life, let him change you to what he wants you to be instead of you trying to be who you want to be, you'll find true love. And no greater love will you ever find is what Christ Jesus has for you. Amen. With that, God bless you. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful evening. This has been just a walk with Jesus and a walk with Pastor Tim <laughs> this Wednesday. So just to get formalities out of the way, if you want to give, you need to pay your tithes, you want to give offering, you can send it to P.O. Box 369. Lepanto, Arkansas, 72354. Or you can go to our website and you can just click on the, the give button and do it through there. Now the formalities are out of the way. This is for you. God loves you. God wants you. God wants the best for you. God wants an abundant life for you. Grab a hold of his promises and fall in love with him all over again. God bless you and have a great Wednesday and a great rest of the week.